where y'all at? Where y'all at? I miss y'all. Come to me. Hi. It's dark at the moment. Hey, how y'all doing? As you can see once again, I'm doing up natural because I've been looking after my skin. Hold on, let me get some light for you. Let me get some light for you. Because my hair's just scraped back because I'm going to the shop down the road. Yeah. I don't know if I can get myself in the light. Nothing upon my skin, you see. I've just been drinking my water. You know, it's been eating my fruit. Hey, drinking my water, eating my fruit, you know, doing my yoga, doing my cleansing, doing my fasting when I need to, you know, only putting natural products upon my skin top. Hey, and yeah. Don't mind them, um, don't mind that noise. But yeah, yes, I'm always cooking. I am, see, we get some light now, huh? <laughs> I'm always cooking. Can you see my skin now, guys? I'm not showing off, yeah? Not that it's a problem to show off, because you know what I mean? Like, love yourselves and all that, but clear skin come true. Ah, uh, how you mean? Ah, uh, how you mean? <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to go the shortcut way. Let me see if I can walk over the gates. Thank you. This makes you so hungry because it looks so yummy. Thank you. And as you can see, it's all healthy. And it's all vegan as well. Like, I don't cook with meat. I was a um, pescatarian for two years. Just over two years. And then this summer... For some reason, I was on one. I was on one because I was... I started to smoke a lot of weed because I was hanging around, like, some... Not some, but I was hanging around, like, someone that I met that smoked weed. So I was smoking a lot of weed. Hey, girl. And not a lot, but I was, like, smoking... Like, I don't usually smoke weed, but I usually, like, smoke once in a blue moon or just on a rare occasion. Do you get me? But... And then I started eating meat for some reason again, like, in the summer. I was just letting loose, I was letting myself go. I was smoking too much as well, um, which was stupid because I had already done the two-year detox. I mean, I was still smoking um, cigarettes because I smoke cigarettes, I'm going the wrong way. I was gonna try jump over that gate, but I can't, I can't do it, but yeah. I was smoking for five years and then I just decided to give up this year and to give up smoking was one of the best decisions that I ever made because I started to see more clearly. I started to deal with a lot of my stress, deal with a lot of um, things that I was putting off because I was smoking, you know, and um, when I didn't know what to do, I used to smoke, you know, or when I needed to think, I used to smoke. But smoking was clouding what I need to think about, you know, and it's a temporary high. And I'm speaking about smoking tobacco at the moment, you know. And um, actually, this is a personal thing to me, but I'm going to share it with you all. Um, when the first lockdown in the UK started, now I live by myself okay I have done so for seven years okay and I'm 24 years old so you work that out when I started to live by myself okay and um so I live by myself anyway and the first lockdown started like in March or something and I had less work and stuff um I work in offices but um so basically I started to neglect myself for some reason. I don't know why, but I started to neglect myself. 
um, not in a major way, but I just started eating like one meal a day. But then I would like smoke all day, smoke cigarettes and just eat one meal a day. Okay. And I would um, sort of seek outside vices like, you know, maybe hanging out with the wrong friends but then i come back and i'm by myself but i'm not looking after myself do you understand so i started to lose weight rapidly like i'm a slim girl anyway i'm slim but um i'm not meant to be skinny because i was virgin on the edge of anorexic to be anorexic okay and i wasn't even noticing i was doing it okay and i ended up in hospital because I had a really low iron deficiency and I had a um, lucky I called the doctors because I knew that I needed a blood test because there was something about me that wasn't right I had really low energy level I couldn't concentrate I felt so weak yeah I couldn't move properly and I would have random days where I could do a lot but it was so random do you understand so I ended up in hospital and I had to be on an iron drip and they dripped me with the necessary iron to replenish my body and ever since then I've been on, um, sorry for the noise by the way, I've been on iron um, tablets and I think it's not a high dosage but it's higher than a normal dosage because I'm um, anemic so that's why See, you're talking about my cooking. That's why when you see me cooking, um, when you see my meals, I put a lot of green vegetables on it or like um, spinach and stuff. Do you get it? Hey, so that's why I pack. I Have you seen my plate sometimes, guys? I pack my plates, yeah, with as much green vegetables as possible because I'm also because I'm vegan. I need to up my iron intake because you can get iron from me. Do you understand? Have a bless and a blessed day to you too, King. Blessed day to you too. So yeah, so iron is very important to get into your diets, guys. Um, try and eat, and especially if you're you're off of the meat, especially if you're off of the meat, try and up your iron intake. Um, eat foods that are rich with iron it's very important but um yeah i'm just walking to the shop and um i'm gonna buy some planting do you guys like planting planting's caribbean but well, i'm half caribbean half the side of my family's caribbean i'm half caribbean half english but yeah i'm just gonna buy some planting um, to put with my dinner tonight so yeah I'm just going to the shop now hey so how are all you guys how are all you guys yes planting that's what it's all about I haven't had planting in a long time because there's only certain shops that sells it because the su normal supermarkets yeah they don't pattern themselves up with um you know, Caribbean um, vegetables that we use. You know, like um, dashing, um, green banana, plantain, okra. You see me? So there's a plantain right here, see? They have it. They're selling it for um, three for £1.30, which is a good price. Three for £1.30. So I'm gonna buy them but yeah we'll talk to you for a bit um, yeah I hope you all are doing good we're in some funny times at the moment but you know what the number one thing that you all can do cut my hair the number one thing you all can do is really concentrate on yourself you know because this is a pivotal time for self elevation it's such a pivotal time we have so much time on our hands why would we not grab that and put it into ourselves to self-elevate do you understand and we're all doing it together
because let me tell you something. I said it before, but I'll say it again. I don't care how many people join my live. I don't care. Because you see the people that join my live, they are divinely guided to join my live. Okay? And spirit will sometimes come through me with a message for all the people specifically that have joined my live. And I know some of you are already doing that as well. You're already concentrating on yourself, okay? It doesn't mean you don't care for your friends and your family. It doesn't mean that, yeah? But if you are constantly doing things for friends and family and caring about their needs, what about your needs? Hey, do you understand? So what about your needs? This is a pivotal time. This is... Um, this is... Can you hear that, guys? So this is a good time to hey to concentrate on yourself and self elevation because we have so much time on our hands yes let's use it wisely we don't have to do the mundane nine to five five days a week do you understand we don't have to do that at the moment you might think oh my gosh like what am i what am i meant to do every day like yeah sometimes i feel like working out sometimes i feel like making a cake do you understand Sometimes I feel like, um, I don't know, watching a movie. You, these things, you can do any time. Do you understand? But this is the time to work on yourself. So every day, do, do self-improvement. And it doesn't mean put pressure on yourself, no. I'm not putting no pressure on myself. I'm relaxed when I do it. That's why I start my day with meditation. Hello. That's why I start. That's why I implement yoga into my day. That's why I implement listening to high frequency music into my day. Okay. So every day do something that goes towards working on you and elevating higher. You know, you have so much power that you don't even understand, that you don't even realize. There's so much power in you. Do you understand? And what they want us to think is that the power is in other people. Is in people that hasn't got our best interests. But you, you see you, yeah, who's listening to this, you have a good heart. You have good interests for the people. You have good interests for others. Yeah, you have a good heart. You have a pure heart. So why not put that into yourself you know, and outpour it to others, okay, start that thing, start whatever you need to start, okay, but first of all, work on you, and do things for you, okay, and I'm going to cook a meal for myself today, and I'm going to make it extra special by, bli by buying some planting, you know, that I don't have that often, so I'm going to go to the shop, I'm going to buy my planting, okay, I'm gonna buy my free piece of planting. Should I buy some more to stock up? I'm not sure. I'm gonna buy my, look, 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 look. Buy my tree piece of planting, okay? And cook my meal and enjoy it, make a healthy meal and look after myself. That's what I'm gonna do. And that's what you all are gonna do as well. Okay, so yes, I'm out here looking crazy right now. I'm out here looking real crazy right now, but do you know what? I'm real. I'm real. So don't worry about these people walking around that aren't real, okay, that haven't got a heart. Yeah? You continue to be you and do you, okay? You can only elevate higher, but yes. I'm going to buy my things. I'm going to go home. I'm going to speak to you all later. I might do another live as well. But yeah, I might not be looking so crazy when I do the next live. But yeah, blessings. Love and blessings to you all.